today we are going to learn about how to create your own LUTs in Photoshop and yeah LUTs means lookup tables and it is L-U-T-S I used to get the spelling wrong I used to call them LUTs so someone corrected me recently and they're like they're called LUTs so uh, this tutorial is about how you can create your own LUTs in Photoshop and yeah this is going to be a short video and yeah before I can go ahead I'm running from Ronis Photography thank you for watching and let's kick in and start color grading this image and when you're creating your lookup tables or lots uh, make sure you don't duplicate your background layer make sure you are working on your background layer if at all you want to save your lot so as usual i prefer first of all come right down here and i color grade using a black and white filter so uh this is uh, how to make the image i'll just come right to uh, multiply the blending option you can see this is how the image looks and uh, the other thing when you're creating your lights make sure you do it to the extreme because you can always adjust the settings after you have saved a lot and you can uh, usually turn down the, opac uh, the opacity of the whole light in general so just come and turn down the opacity or the effect it has applied so uh usually i prefer to come back to the black and red for those who have seen me color grade my images and before i can go ahead this image was taken by a biomiyoki9 i'm going to put his link down in the description so that you guys can check him out on his instagram so after creating another black and white uh, layer just come to the blending and this time you're going to use overlay so i'm just going to be using a random effect so I, I show you guys how you can create your own color grading LUT so I'm going to turn down the opacity I think it's fine right here and I'm going to come back to uh, my black and white and I'm going to use multiply still but this time around I'm going to turn around with these uh, uh, the red channel and the yellow channel you can see if I play around with it you can see the effect uh, it brings to the image so I think that is fine and I'm going to come to the opacity and I'm going to uh, reduce it uh, to around 24 then I'm going to come right to my I'm going to come first of all to my selective color it depends on what you prefer when you're doing your color grading and I'm going to come and I'm going to add some cyans and I'm going to I'm on the red channel remember I've added some cyans to my reds and I'm going to warm up the image by adding some little bit of yellows to my red channel I think this is fine so I'm going to come right to my color balance I don't know it's around here and I'm going to add some science to my midtones you can see right above here i'm going to add some science to my midtones and i'm going to add a little bit of yellows then i'm going to come right to my highlights right here and i'm going to add science to to my highlights you can see if you take it all the way down that's what will happen so I'm going to push it to around 19 and I'm going to add a little bit of greens to my highlights and I'm going to come uh, right to my midtone still I'm going to um, reduce on the science and I'm going to add a little bit of magenta I think this is really really fine and awesome so make sure you do everything uh, so that when you save your LUT, uh, eventually everything is there in your image. So if at all you want to add a little bit of contrast to the image, just come and add the contrast. And this will make your LUT uh, have a contrast in it. And now you can as well come back to... Uh, this right here and you can still add one more multiply layer and 
yeah just want to take this extreme to show you guys uh the effect of the LUT. so that's why i'm really going extreme with uh, creating this and those who need this flat i'm going to put the link down in the description so that you guys can download and use this LUT for free so that's going to be like a giveaway for you guys but i want to show you guys how i do save or create my LUTs or my lookup tables in photoshop so after you have done this let's add one more layer and this time you're going to be using that gra the, the gradient maps click on the color like icon and choose the color that is close to your skin tones and if you don't have all these as usual click on the gear like icon and select photographic toning and click a pen so i'll select sapia attic and i'm going to click ok come to my blending and i'm going to use multiply and i'm going to reduce on the effect of this so i think we are done with this so remember let me first show you guys um our color grading for this image i'm going to shift and first of all group ctrl g so you can see uh, this was the before after before after so uh, when you're creating the light make sure your all your effects or uh, adjustments are not in a group so i'm going to uh, delete the group so that i can save uh, the light for future use so i'm going to come right here to file then i'm going to come to export then i'm going to come to lookup tables so uh the short form for lookup tables is lat lat sorry so make sure you add a description for your lat so i'm going to name this melanin and you can add a copyright yeah so for the copyright let me use the photographer's copyright because uh, he's the one who inspired me to do a retouching of this image so let me give him credit for this so abayo miyaki nine i think that's the spelling for the photographers so i'm sorry i don't know what i did let me cancel this so let me go back to saving the lot i made a mistake so come to your lookup tables and yeah add a description so we are, uh, remember we had named this uh, melanin uh come to uh the copyright info and you can rename this uh like i've done i'm going to name this a uh, biomia kinaina yeah this is the photographer of the image and for a setting make sure you leave this at medium and make sure you can i uh, use lowercase extensions for your alert so make sure for, uh, for the start all these are going to be checked so make sure you only select this cube yeah select only cube because you're going to want uh, the light to load faster in photoshop that's why i'm selecting the cube then click ok so when you click ok it will show you where you want to uh, save your lot so and for my lot let me just save it under my documents and i'm going to create a, a folder for it so i'm going to name it lat today i think that is fine so i'm going to uh, rename this still uh, to melanin sorry i'm writing melanina so click save and when you click save uh, your lat will be i uh, will save and when it is done yeah right like it is right now the lat is done saving so i can come back right here and i group this so i'm going to turn off um what we had done yeah i'm going to turn it off so i want to show you guys how to choose the lat and apply the effect to the image so just come right down and uh, select lookup table yeah so come right here to load three uh 3d lat and click right here 
and look for where you saved your lat so i saved mine right here and i'm going to click on it and uh, click load it is going to take a few seconds to load and as you can see we already have the effect in the image and there is no difference you can see before after before after and if i turn this off and i turn this on you can see there is no difference at all so i'm going to turn this off and activate this so if at all you feel the effect is too much for your liking just come and turn down the opacity to whatever you feel like is good and works for you and yeah guys this tutorial has been about how to create um your lights in photoshop and uh this image was by abayomio kenaina and if at all you love this tutorial uh, don't forget to like and drop a comment in the comment section and if at all you have landed this on this video for the very first time on this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell when you do subscribe i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching see you in yet another tutorial on this channel and thank you stay safe